that a fair mix? I'm saving lives here. The straight stuff would raise a blood blister on boot leather. I meant it seemed like a lot of whiskey. What's this? That's the good stuff. Oh, yeah? How good? Of the good stuff. May it last a long time. You better get out here. Nothing happened, Tyree. This is my job. Shut up. I don't believe a lady has to explain anything to a man this ugly. What's the trouble here? Stay out of this, Peyton. He can't do that, Tyree. Cobb's hired him. That's Cobb's mistake. Come on out of there, Phoebe. You've done enough. <gasps> Go on home, Jake. All I did was kiss the girl. That's what you said in Turley. Remember how that ended? What's the matter, Peyton? You afraid I couldn't get those two behind me? I don't want you getting anybody in my place. Boom. I should have killed you a long time ago. Why not now? Don't do it, Tyree. I just lost a partner. If you kill him, I'll never get anyone to work in here. You better start looking. Give me some of the good stuff. horse, kid. This is my uncle's horse. Like hell it is. What's the problem, Swan? Yeah. What's the problem? Emmett. For Kendrick. I didn't know you were out. Seems short to you. That's all over with as far as I'm concerned, Emmett. I'm satisfied. Sounds good. All right, then. Let's go. Mr. McKendrick. Don't you recognize this pinto? What? That's Lee's horse. Shut up, Swan. Wait a minute. Down from there, Augie. The man who lost this horse must have been working for you. I should have known. But you changed your brand, Ethan. A lot of things changed when my father died.
He must be pretty good. He's good, all right. Too good for my man. That's why you gotta take care of it. What about his brother? We'll handle that. He's careless. Things are getting messy around here. I hear Ezra Johnson got himself killed. I heard that, too. Did you hear his son is still around? Cobb, looks like you're finally going to earn your money. Well, what I've seen, Peyton yeah. doesn't care about money. <laughs> He says he doesn't care about anything, but he does. There's just no telling what it's going to be. No. Howdy, Mr. Slick. Sure. Let me tell you about your friend, Peyton. Me and him, and Tyree, and a few others. We did a good bit of riding together a few years back. Business, you know, and uh, business was pretty good. We were moving around a lot, the way you have to, in that line of work. And somewhere along the line, we picked up this dog. You know, the boys took to feeding it, so it followed us everywhere. Anyway, this one time, we're leaving a little Missouri town in quite a hurry. A bunch of the locals out on our tail. And his dog somehow had tangled up with Tyree's horse. And Tyree went flying. <laughs> well, Tyree was pretty mad when he jumped up, and being Tyree, he shot the dog. Didn't kill him, though. Well, before you know it, Peyton is off his horse, and he's holding his dog. He had gone all strange on us. Said we should go on without him. Hell, I thought he was kidding at first, but he wasn't. Tyree was ready to plug them both. All this with a posse coming down. <laughs> I thought we were pals after all that riding we'd done together. All of a sudden, he's more worried about some mutt. Well, we did like he asked, and we left him. And he went to jail for a dog. You want to hear the funny part? Aiden didn't even like that damn dog. It evened out in the end. They locked me up. The dog sprung me. <laughs> Where's the dog now? He left me. <laughs> Come on, Peyton. I'll buy you a drink. Took out thirteen dollars. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I told you this was a sweet setup. It is now. Maybe you could run it without Stella. This is her life. I'll go before she does. Easy, boy. It's just an idea. Well, thanks, but forget it. Peyton, <clears throat> what makes all this work is me doing my job. Well, those fellas who come to town with, they're causing some trouble. It's gonna take some straightening out. I have my responsibilities. I just want you to understand it has nothing to do with us. What is it you want from me? Nothing. Do nothing. Don't get between us. I'm a great believer in doing nothing. We understand each other. Don't worry about me. If you're taking on Emmett, the last place I want to be is between you. 